Tell us what we got in the mail today. We got denatured alcohol. Just kidding. Oh. We got an anchor. Got here. We've got a 44 pound, 20 kilogram rock nut. And it's replacing a bent CQR that was sacrificed when the boat was kind of rammed into a wall. By not us. <laughs> yeah, so it bent the anchor. Some people said it wasn't a big deal and other people said that's terrible. If you have a bent anchor, it's gonna keep wanting to unseat itself. And so we decided to get a different anchor, a larger anchor, the new school anchors. And one that's not bent. We are hoping that it's gonna fit on our bow roller. That fits kind of nicely. It does. Funny story, we've owned this composting toilet longer than we've owned our boat. We just haven't opened it yet. Why would you buy a composting toilet before you bought a boat? Because we're idiots. <laughs> we wanted to get started on a project and we hadn't closed on our other boat officially. This was actually purchased for the boat that we thought we were gonna buy and we ended up getting that boat. What all we got in here? And we decided between the sea head, which is this one, nature's gate. Nature's gate, the toothpaste. Nature's head. Yeah, I think it was nature's head. Was the ease of cleaning this unit. All the inside surfaces are very smooth. And instead of having to take the entire base container out of the boat, you take just this bucket. So then what do you do with that bucket? That bucket and then chuck it. <laughs> so you could put it into like a plastic bag or something and just throw it in a dumpster. You could. That's to keep the bugs out. It looks pretty. It does kind of look like a throne right now. <laughs> That's a very tall throne. <laughs> So we need somewhere to put our feet, right? Yeah. Our friends Phil and Hadley flew in from California for the weekend. We're gonna come. And it just so happened that Racine's annual cardboard boat race was taking place at the same time. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have a cardboard boat. <laughs> Good to get my sea legs back, you know? Just holding the wheel and oh it's called a helm. I loved it. How do you do, Kirk? What's that? How did Phil do? How did what feel? <laughs> Adley, did you throw up? I did not throw up. That's a win. And, <laughs> and it was very relaxing after I got past that initial bout of nausea. And we got snacks. Oh yeah, and the snacks. There's no better feeling when you're sailing than washing and 
other boats go quickly behind you <laughs> when you know that you're actually doing something right. Because I've been that other boat many times. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that dude's in a Hobie. Yeah. I know, all kitted up. I designed your kayak. He works for Hobie. Yeah. You like it? <laughs> yeah. I'll make that. I'll do that. You like? <laughs> Ooh, cool. Hi. Ooh, another one. All right, we got four minutes. Okay. <laughs> you don't usually do that. No. <laughs> I think he's far enough from home that he feels like he could do it. Do you remember long short or short long? Long short. <laughs> nice. This is all for us? Yes. <laughs> Can we do a little loop while we're under it? Yeah. We should park. Take our time. I love that. <laughs> They're like, you're welcome. needs to come out of here too. This morning we took the boat out underneath both bridges over to the other marina and pumped out our holding tank for the first and last time because <laughs> we are ripping this out. We're ripping out our head right there. We are ripping out our holding tank which is underneath the V berth and we are putting in a composting toilet and we are both super excited about that because of several reasons. Uh, the first one and grossest one being of which the last time we were out on Lake Michigan and the boat was healing all over the place, uh, I came forward and looked in the head and saw that there was a bunch of uh, brown, water. brown water pooling in the toilet, more so than there should have been. And then Kirk came down later and tried to fix it and we ended up with Made puke water <laughs> all over the bottom of the head pan, so that was gross and disgusting. So we are pulling everything out of the V-berth so that we can get access to our holding tank and get rid of the poopies. I hate flatheads. Whoever invented flatheads is the worst. Can't even see which way it freaking lines up. Can you? Yeah, it turned the base of the screwdriver all the way to the right. Okay, that's clearly not gonna work. Those are like painted in there. There we go. Stripped now with like one half of a thread left. Ah, oh, step one. A surefire way to piss off the next owner of your boat is to use a four inch flathead wood screw. Okay, step two. We have our waistline this white one, out from the toilet. We have our vent line up to the deck. We have our pump out line, and we have our cleaning line here. We need to disconnect all of these so that we can back this tank out, which goes through the bulkhead here, out of here, and then we can pull that tank out of the V-berth. <laughs> There's some 
hose clamps that I could undo. Plastic bag. All right. Yeah. But the thing is, is this big black one. So <laughs> we didn't put anything over that. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that would have been disgusting. All right. So take three. Yes. All right. Let's hope this works. Okay. Get the black. Keep it up. Okay. Is it dripping? Well, yeah, but. Just a couple drops. Okay. <laughs> Coming through. Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> this could be very easy. Could so, be. could be. So, we don't have to take the toilet apart, so there's nothing nasty there. This white waist hose goes at a straight angle through both bulkheads. If we can just pull it all the way out of there, yeah. we don't have to take anything apart. All I have to do is unscrew the, screw the toilet seat. from the base. And then all that pump and everything just stays together. Yep. So that would be very, very nice. Let's see if it works out that way. Here we go. There. Cool. Good? Yeah. Where did that hose clamp go? Uh, up top of your drill. What would be the odds of that, huh? Man, I'm getting good at this. <laughs> We're home free. Both screws are out? Yeah, there's what one. What are those bolts? Where are they, Liv? Uh, these are bolts. Educate me. Technically, those are like machine screws. Mm. We're almost there. <laughs> uh-oh. Not home free yet? Well, I just don't Not know white. how hard I'm going to be able to bend it. How close am I to pulling that all the way through there? You got about two and a half inches. Could just pull this white pipe off. Right. Collect whatever water comes out of it. Oh, that doesn't sound good. All right, because I mean, there's water coming out right now. Coming out of where? I don't know. Okay, it's out. Where's the water coming? From the pump handle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's free? It's free. Um,. Do you want me to hold that tube up? Yeah. <laughs> we did it. <sighs> Success. High five. I mean, perfect. All right. Now we gotta put the boat back together. Yeah. And we need to install a composting. True.